let's talk about these parts. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be discussing some things that I think every single WWE action figure collector can can really resonate with really, you know, yeah, at least Dr. Whitekiss, Brad. Dr. Whitekiss, kiss, kiss, coffee. Dr. Whitekiss can definitely, uh, you know, he can resonate with these things because, you know, uh, one thing that bothers the garbage out of me is when, you know, you, you have a superstar and we finally get their figure and you look at their figure and you think, well, uh, that's not the way that should look or that's not necessarily proportionate or that's uh, not the best look. Like, I, I, I don't know about that one, Brad. So today we're going to go through some parts. Today we're going to be looking at parts that Mattel needs to change, okay? I'm going to name off a list of parts that I would personally change. If I came in the building and they said, you're in charge, Brad, I would say this is what we're going to do from now on as far as formulas are concerned. Now, I'm not talking about like, like we would make it work. Like in a, like in the real world, say they can't use this because the connector piece doesn't connect. They had to make a whole new connector piece to make some. All that's out the window, Brad. I'm just saying, if we could kind of just build and connect these parts like, you know, like freaking Legos, these are the parts that I would choose. So the first thing that we have to discuss, guys, has got to be, and you guys can let me know down in the comments section below you know some parts that you would change if you guys agree with these if you guys don't agree with these please let me know down in the comment section below but first of all we got to talk about AJ Styles and his godforsaken torso every single time I see an AJ Styles figure I don't like collecting AJ Styles figures like don't get me wrong I love AJ Styles his figures are cool I'm not gonna lie I like them but it bothers me to look up on my shelf and see that same torso every time that I just like I don't want to collect his figures because every time that I get one I know that I'm gonna have to switch the torso or get a customizer to make the torso that I like and that's just it just puts me off you know what I'm saying like I just do not like that Daniel Bryan style torso man I don't like it I think that the Sin Cara torso would be way more beautiful if it was in the right skin tone with the chest hair and the tattoo G Natty has made so many customs of this and it just looks so damn good man it looks so good I think especially if you switch out the thighs with Sin Cara thighs or something else like it looks so good bro it's insane how good a figure can really look if you get the perfect formula or that if you look at figures and you take like, you know, if you take your time building that custom up with the right parts, man, it can make a ton of difference in the outcome and the look of the figure. And uh, AJ Styles has got to be one of those guys. Next up, guys, is going to be something that we worked on just the other day. Stone Cold Steve Austin arms. They always give him the just regular bare bones arms. And I feel like he would look a lot better if he had a little bit more jacked arms. Like I saw somebody do a fix up where they put the John Cena Ultimate Edition arms on there. I don't have multiple Ultimate Edition John Cena's or we would have done this on surgery but somebody put the Ultimate Edition John Cena arms onto the uh, the Stone Cold Steve Austin Ultimate Edition. It looked uh, just incredible, man. You'd be blown away by how good the John Brown thing looks. His elites as well. The elites aren't as bad but the Ultimate Edition for sure, just they make it too small and I've seen a lot of people fix up the arms and it just looks so good, man. Just like we did on surgery, it's crazy how good it can really look and really bring a figure to life. So that is another one that I had to add. And if I leave out any guys, let me know down in the comments section below some other ones maybe we could do a part two but the next one we're going to talk about and i will have to you know i'm not going to mention it for too long because this is something that they did correct i will congratulate them i will applaud them for changing this and you know making johnny gargano syndrome such a wide known thing but johnny gargano syndrome it seems that they've corrected it you know uh kevin owens still has it sometimes he kind of switched back to boots so it doesn't really matter i know the viking raiders i think had it for a little bit johnny gargano was you know i mean it's dubbed johnny gargano syndrome so there have definitely been some people that have fell under the, you know, under the spell of Johnny Gargano syndrome, but they did fix it, and we have to applaud that. But that is one of those things that drove me nuts, man. I just didn't understand why you couldn't switch out the lower legs for Daniel Bryan lower legs and then give us regular kick pads. I don't know. I don't know, like, if they have to submit a certain formula, and that's just it. You know, they can't change it once it's there, but that is something that, uh, you know, drove me nuts, man. I, I'm very glad that, you know, we got that corrected, and hopefully we don't have to face that again. Next up, guys, we're going to be talking about Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy. Do you know what I'm talking about, Brad? Mike holding hands, for Christ's sake. And when I said Mike holding hands, I made fists, which is what they give him. They give them fists every single time. Randy Orton, they give him the signature hands, and they give him fists every single time. He never comes with Mike holding hands, unless it's a legend killer, Orton. And then for Jeff Hardy, they always give 
him the Jeff Hardy hands, and then they give him fists. I don't know why they don't give him Mike Holding hands. They have given him Mike Holding hands in his two packs. Now, his FYE two pack didn't have interchangeable hands, but his ringside exclusive two pack with the Brood Hardys, that came with Mike Holding hands, and then his flashback with Triple H two pack, that also came with Mike Holding hands. So, unless it's like a flashback two pack Hardy, he's going to come with the signature hands and the fists, and that's just shit. They need to change that. But another thing about Jeff Hardy is give him ball joints, man. Uh, one thing that I will say is I love Jeff Hardy. I love his moveset. I love to pick fed with him. Really fun guy to pose around. But his figures would be just insanely good if you could, uh, if you if he was on ball joints. Like, his ability to pose would be just super fun. Get the legs up. Because those ratchet joints, man, anybody knows that when you push the leg forward and it's doing that little snappy motion, like, ball joints, it's like fluid, you know? It's like fluid. It, like, it goes nice. But with the ratchet joints, it kind of, you know what I'm saying? So, you got this, and then you got just fluid, where you can stop it at any point, and it's real nice. You don't want to be choppy all over the damn place, like you're out in the woods chopping wood. Brad. We want fluidity. We want the niceness. Ball joints are what we need for our Jeff Hardy figures. Next up, Dolph Ziggler. Why are his arms so big, Brad? Why are his arms so big? I don't know what you're watching, Bradley. And it does, it's weird because, like, he'll have gigantic arms, but then Seth Rollins will have regular arms when they use the same torso. It's just, like, the logic behind the building up figures and the formula that they use for certain guys makes no sense. There's no fluidity. There's not a lot of, like, just... You know what I'm saying? It's not consistent. The logic isn't consistent, and it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know. Like, you would think that they would use the Seth Rollins arm mold for Dolph Ziggler. Or, like, why does his basics change from the smaller arms, and then when you get the, you know, the elites, his arms are gigantic. I don't get it. Why? Why is that a thing? I'm not, like, uh, I'm not, like, mad, per se, but I'm not, like, not mad. It's just one of those things, man. It's just, I, I don't get it. I, I would love to see, like, a whole documentary on why those things are. Next up, John Cena. John Cena ankles. The, the, the long shorts John Cena's. Those, not the short ones, the short ones are fantastic. I'm talking about this kind of John Cena right here. This guy right here. These ankles right here are just god-awful. They've had them since the beginning. They're 11 years old, Brad, and we're still getting figures with those ankles. Please tool new ankles. Those are terrible. The Ultimate Edition still had that problem a little bit, too, but I would say, like, the Ultimate Edition is better, but it's still kind of garbage. He's also, like, that leg mold. I would like to see a new leg mold or something new and innovative, but those ankles get loose. They they plummet off my shelf. I, I like, it's crazy. You don't know how many times. I would say pro at least 60, 70 times my John Cena's have plummeted. Like multiple. I'll just be chilling in the night sleeping and I'll hear... And I come in here the next day, six John Cena's in the floor. Fix it. Next up, Finn Balor. Choke slam hands. Why does he get choke slam hands? I don't know. I don't know why they give him choke slamming hands. Again, not the biggest deal. Is it the biggest deal? No, it's not. But at the same time, why? Why is it why is it a thing? Now that he has the tattoo, it is kind of a big deal. Because now if you want him to have the tattoo, you can't have a mic holding hands unless you heat up his hands and then mold him to mic holding hands, which is something that we shouldn't have to do, which is like the Adam Hangman page over here. Why do I have to fix his legs? You know? Why is that a thing? Like it's just it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a thing. It shouldn't uh uh, shouldn't be a thing. Why is it a thing? Shouldn't be a thing. Why is it? And I think the last thing that I have to discuss is Kane. Kane's masks, his arms, and the girth of his chest, okay? If you go back to 2001, Kane was massive, okay? And his figures are skinny. Now, you can switch out the arms, but the arms are not going to change the torso. And, like, if you change the torso, you kind of have to change the legs. Like, he really needs, like, a full body makeover, to be honest with you, when we're getting into Kane. And I know they finally fixed the mask sculpt, but did you see what they fixed it to? I mean, d is it fixed? Is it fixed? Is it fixed? You upset and jinxy cat. Oh my god. Alright. But yeah, man, his chest is just too small. It's just too small. It's just too small. Braun Strowman, I think, would be perfect. He needs to be a little bit smaller than the Braun Strowman torso, but if you compare the two, they're like complete opposites. They're tag teams on Vindication, but the Braun Strowman is like much more girthy and big than the Kane. It would just be really cool to see somebody re-sculpt it and redo it the right way and just change it up a little bit. I feel like they made the decision and then they just ran with it. I feel like if you took his, you know, his masthead, Head sculpts or his throwback ones like with his full bodysuit. If you took that torso or his Elite Four torso and then sculpted it over that instead of giving it like a skinnier torso with the mold over it, maybe a little bit better, but 
that's pretty much my list, man. Again, I have lots more I could probably get into, and I also have an honorable mention, which I will say is going to be Rollins legs. I know a lot of people complain about Rollins being too short and having crazy legs and stuff, so that is one that I could also agree with for Seth Rollins and his skinny leg mold, but these are just some that stood out to me, and I wanted to know what you guys think. Again, I could do a part two, part three. I don't know. There's probably a whole list that I could do there, but these are just the ones that stood out in my brain immediately that I had to get into, but before we get out of here, guys, let's get into the random shout-out before I just, just lose it. The shout-out is gonna go to Fabian Gonzalez, who says, my Walmart never has any figures, but yesterday it had the whole Elite Series 84, and I bought the series, and I was surprised. That is pretty surprising. Uh, my Walmart got the uh, the new Basic Series with, what, Austin Theory and Jeff Hardy and Finn Balor, but they literally, all they had was Jeff Hardy and Finn Balor. There's like four of each of them, but there was no Austin Theory, so I didn't buy that one, and the rest of the wave, and I didn't really want the Finn Balor, you know, head sculpt that's like pissed off grinning, because I already did that with the Elite 70 head, and I skin tone painted it. I didn't really care for it, and then the Jeff Hardy is like, eh, it's okay. It's just, uh, it's the same head sculpt pretty much with the paint removed, and it looks a little bit odd. I don't know. And there's no Elite 84. If they had Elite 84, who would I buy from the set? Jeff Hardy is the only one I'd probably buy, I think. I don't need Garza, Rhea, Roman. I don't need, I don't think, any of the others. Sheamus is a really good figure, but I don't know if I would need that necessarily. So, but a huge shout out to you, man. Uh, thank you for letting me know that. That was pretty cool because that means that probably mine's going to hit soon. And I would like to get a Chase Hardy and potentially some more Elite Hardys for the old fix-ups over there. Because you guys know like, the Hardy fix-ups, boy, they got a little something special going on there, young man. But anyways, guys, I'm getting out of here before I vomit. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and uh, fix these parts. You cross the line.